boys and girls. So this week our letter is Z. And so we're gonna talk about Zacchaeus. And Zacchaeus is in the New Testament. And so that book of the Bible, it's in the New Testament. And we're gonna go through, you know what, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm not sure if Zacchaeus is in all four of the Gospels or not. I have not researched that. Maybe you and your mom and dad can look through and decide if it's in all four of them or not. But we're going to say we're just going to go to the John because that's the last one of the Gospels. So we're just going to do our New Testament song here. You ready? Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. I know you all know those four books. It's after that we get a little confused, isn't it? So we're going to talk about the story here. And Zacchaeus, he lived in the uh, city of Jericho. Remember Jericho? Um, Jericho is the one that the walls all fell down, and that's in a couple weeks we'll talk about Jericho. Um, but this is long, long after that. So it's after Joshua. It's way, way far away. It's after Jesus came to, to earth. And Zacchaeus was this really short guy. He was super short. He was, uh, um, yeah, he was just short. And Jesus, whenever Jesus came around, remember, this is, I believe, after Jesus had rose Lazarus from the dead. So, like, everybody knew who Jesus was. They were all super excited about it. Jericho is on your way to Jerusalem. So Jesus is on his way to the Passover, and he's getting ready. Like, he, could, he knows this is when it's like he's almost done. He's almost going to die on the cross. So he knows it, and he's on his way there, and you had to go through, through Jericho. Once you got through Jericho, you go to Bethany, remember? Lazarus, Mary, Martha are there. And then you get to Jerusalem. So um, they're there, and whenever Jesus came to town, everybody came out to look. They were all so excited to see Jesus. And Zacchaeus, there's like people lined up. They're all looking. They're like, Jesus is coming. Come on, everybody, let's go look. Well, notice there's lots of people, and you're kind of short. You can't see, right? And you guys are kids. So have you ever been to a parade where there are other kids in front of you that are older, and you're like, get out of the way. i got to get candy, right? That's kind of how he's like, he wants to see Jesus. He's all excited. Well, he decides in his head, I'm so short. I can't see him. I'm going to climb up a tree. So he gets up in a sycamore tree. And he wants to be able to see Jesus. So when he gets up, up higher, he's got a pretty good view, right? Well, lo and behold, Jesus comes walking. And mind you, the crowds, everybody's there. The whole town is there to see Jesus because he's like a huge superstar. It's kind of like if, um, let's see here, uh, Kevin Durant. If Kevin Durant came to Indianapolis and was like going to talk somewhere, man, and was going to do like a parade of just Kevin Durant, everybody would be there. Or like Peyton Manning or something, like a big parade. Everybody would go out to see it, right? Millions of people would be there. Same kind of thing. So he's there, and, and everyone's in a big crowd. Jesus comes walking, and he stops right at Zacchaeus' tree. Now let's back up again. Zacchaeus, he is a Jew, so he's all, they're all the same. He's like part of their nation. But his job is a tax collector. Now, boys and girls, tax collectors back then, nobody liked them. They were kind of bad guys. They were kind of evil. Here's what they would do. Let's say my husband's got the, cam cal my, the camera, so his name's Ted. Let's say that Ted owed the Romans, that's who was in charge here. Let's say he owed the Romans $100. And he was a tax collector for them. He would tell Ted, um, you owe $200. And so Ted would have to pay him $200 and Zacchaeus would put $100 in his pocket and then give the $100 to the Romans. So he was stealing. And boys and girls, the tax collectors were super rich. Now, everybody knew they did it. Like, the people, they all knew he was a thief. They all knew he stole their money. They all knew that he was kind of crooked and he wasn't really a good guy. So they didn't like him at all. Nobody liked him. Like, he didn't have a lot of friends. The friends that he had were all bad like him. So he was a bad guy and didn't have any people who were like, you know... The really good people that went to church every Sunday and thought they were really nice people. That wasn't him. So when Jesus stopped in front of his tree and he said, Hey, Zacchaeus, come on down. I want to go to your house today. Zacchaeus was like, uh, you want to come to my house? Are you sure? And Jesus was like, you know, I'm going to go to your house. So Zacchaeus scrambled down. Here he is. He's getting down. Jesus is talking to him. Now, what do you think that people... Standing all around, all the really good, who thought they were awesome people. What do you think they thought about that? They all start going, are you serious? He's really going to go to his house? Can't go to his house. He's a bad guy. 
but they were all like kind of being mean. Well, Jesus heard them, of course, and he turned around and he said, why do you think I came here? If you're healthy, do you need to go to the doctor? Boys and girls, if you don't have a fever, do you need to go see the doctor? No. You only go to the doctor if you're sick, right? And he said, look, if you're healthy, you don't need to go to the doctor. I didn't come here to try and save people who are healthy. I came here to heal people who are sick. Sick with what? Sin. So he knew Zacchaeus was the sinner, like the, the sinner of the sinners, right? He's right up there. And so Jesus is like, I didn't come here to save people who don't think they need to be saved. I came here to save, save people who needed saving. And the people who thought they were all awesome, they probably really weren't, were they? They probably had a lot of pride in their hearts. They didn't understand very well. So anyways, Jesus went to his, his house, and he became friends with Zacchaeus. And listen to this. Zacchaeus hung out with Jesus long enough at his house that he repented. Boys and girls, he repented, and he even said, Jesus, i got to make this right. So he said, I'm going to go ahead and give everybody their money back. And if I stole from them, I'm going to give them four times what I took. Okay, so let's back up. Remember I said Ted, he said he, uh, somebody owed 100 And they said, okay, I'm going, to, I'm going to take 200 Well, instead, he would give back. He stole 100 so he'd get 400 He'd give $400 back. I probably should have made that a smaller mouth problem for myself on that one, boys and girls. But... So he, had, he was giving them back four times what he stole. Wow. So he, had a, he sold all of his belongings. So think about this. Let's kind of put it in our minds. I live in a nice house. I am very comfortable in my house. I've got running water. I've got a dishwasher. I've got a stove and a refrigerator. And, a, and i got laundry room where I can do my laundry. If I was him and I sold everything that I had, I'd probably have to sell like my cool, I, got, I love my earrings. I just to, to sell my earrings or my very favorite toy. I'd sell that and I would give it all back and, and I'd probably be poor at the end of that, but I'd be so happy because I was obeying God. And that's what he did. He sold what he had so he could obey Jesus and he became a good friend of Jesus's and he was saved that day, which is that awesome. And the people, they were able to see how he changed. So boys and girls, another question. When you ask Jesus to come in your heart, and you ask him to forgive you and you repent, it means you stop and you turn around and you don't sin and you try really hard not to sin anymore because you love Jesus and you're thankful that he saved you, people should see a difference, shouldn't they? They should see that you're a little bit different than you were before. Um, maybe when you talk back, you say, oh, Mommy, will you forgive me? I shouldn't have talked back. Or maybe when you hit your sister or your brother, you say, oh, Please forgive me, I should have done that. Because remember, we still sin, but we ask for forgiveness. And maybe once you've asked Jesus to forgive you, if someone is mean to you, you say, I forgive you. Ooh, think about that. In a couple weeks before, we talked about washing feet. Remember, if you forgive your friend, you wash their feet. And that's what Jesus did. That was his example. So that was letter Z. That was Zacchaeus. It's a very short story. And so maybe I think some of the songs I gave your mom and dad, I think maybe one of those songs on there has Zacchaeus. So you can look through and see if you can find that song. It's a fun song. I'm not going to sing it for you. Um, and that's it. So have a great day, boys and girls, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.